I think it's a good thing. I think definitely more study needs to go into it. Really important for these dogs to decrease damage done to the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys. What's new in the news? The University of Florida Shelter Medicine Program just completed a study about increasing access to heartworm treatment for dogs in shelters. Timely treatment is really important for these dogs to decrease damage done to the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys. The biggest problem with treatment, particularly in a shelter situation, is that a prolonged length of time in treatment and exercise restriction greater than 120 days, the cost and logistics of administering three injections of the adulticide, many shelters have a hard time doing things that take that length of time and cost a lot more money to keep the animals in a shelter situation during treatment. The two-year study titled Comparative Efficacy of Heartworm Treatment Procedures with Shortened Time Frames in Infected Shelter Dogs was made possible with a bunch of grants and then working together with these shelters. So the key goals are to match the safety of traditional protocols, achieve high treatment success, minimize the number of medical treatments for the staff to carry out, decrease the length of time to complete the treatment protocol, and contain treatment costs as much as possible. Dogs naturally infected with heartworms for this study were transferred to Lucky Dog Animal Rescue in South Carolina. Dogs are randomly assigned to a heartworm treatment protocol. Both protocols include the same medications, but with different timing and frequency of the malarsamine adulticide injections. During treatments, dogs receiving two injections have one month of limited exercise, whereas dogs receiving three injections have two months of limited exercise. The dogs are monitored at Lucky Dog during the duration of the procedure where they are available for adoption in the Northern Virginia, Eastern Maryland, DC area. If still positive, it's repeated at nine months. And if it's positive after that, then they're a treatment failure. So the two injection protocol included giving the malarsamine injections two days in a row, giving heartworm preventative, the antibiotic doxycycline, and prednisone as a steroid, followed by a month of limited exercise. The three injection protocol includes a single injection of the malarsamine, heartworm preventative being given an antibiotic and a steroid, and then a month of limited exercise. Then they give the second two malarsamine injections two days in a row, followed by another month of limited exercise exercise, so it's a longer time period. I think it's great that for shelters to get these dogs out there into homes in a more timely manner and having funds available to treat more dogs due to less medication being used, I think it's a good thing. I think more study needs to go into it, so I'm glad that they are at least doing research into ways that we can shorten that shelter time and hopefully get these dogs out into loving homes that much more quickly.